Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will show you how to create a graphical interface using a TouchGFX designer and the latest application template for the uh, SCM32 F746 disco board. So the latest um, application template for the 746, let's just find this here. Um, press the info here and then you can see that we have the version 301. So 301 fixes a critical problem where some files weren't copied properly and um, this application template allows you to create a touch, uh, oh sorry, um, a Cube IDE project directly from the TouchGFX designer. Um, so let's just select this one and we'll just start with a blank UI here just to, let's just call this uh, my test project. Um, let's create this. So now we have a blank UI and in this blank UI we'll just create a quick box here. Just do this red one and we will add a button up here. Uh, we'll create another screen and add another box. That was two boxes there I think. Um, yeah, I'll just create this uh, and have this greenish. Uh, we'll just delete this box and create another button here. Uh, to these I will just add a quick interaction so when the button is clicked we will sh sh uh, change between these two screens here. Uh, screen 2 will go to screen 1 and screen 1 will go to screen 2. That's the most basic function that I can think of right now. We can probably do something even easier. If you want to simulate this we can just press run simulator. If you want to run target, we can press run target here and you can see down in the left corner, it will start to generate um, everything. We'll go to detail lock in the right corner. You can see that it's compiling and it's uh, linking everything together and creating all the files that will be used for uploading. Uh, let's see here. It sh should start flashing now. We can go to the board view and you can see that the board is uploading and now we have the red and we can red screen we can press this and change to the greenish screen so when so now we have the simple interaction here um nothing fancy okay let's just close that if you have problems uh, programming you can also go to detail log here and see if uh, if it's looking for a program that maybe you don't have installed yet if you just install touch effects designer you need to install a few helper programs and it will be listed here um saying that you can't find the directory or file specified for uploading for example Okay, but generating this and running this from TouchGFX Designer is nothing new. We have been able to do this for quite some time. Uh, if we press generate code here, it will generate all the files needed for a Cube IDE project. And that is uh, the main purpose of this video. I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a TouchGFX uh, or a Cube IDE project from the TouchGFX Designer. So if we go to browse code here, we'll be taken directly to the TouchGFX folder inside the test project. So if we go one folder up, you can see that we have an STM32 Cube IDE folder. So inside here we'll actually have a complete Cube IDE project, which is really nice. Uh, the only thing I will change here is if we go into this uh, project here, dot project, you can see that the name is default to STM32F746G underscore disco. Let's just change this to um, my test project and like this. Just save this and close this again. So now we have changed the name of the project and that will be apparent in a second if we just start uh, the STM32 cube IDE. This is the latest version, I think, uh, at this point, uh, 131. Um, but it will probably be updated uh, really soon. Okay, so, yeah, I'm running a different instances of the Cube IDE at the same time. So if we go to File here, we will uh, press Open Projects from File System. And we can browse directly to our uh, My Test Project folder and find the STM32 Cube IDE. And then we can press select folder and you can see that we find exactly one STM32 cube IDE uh, project. Let's just press finish and you can see that the name here, in, here has changed to my test project. So this is really handy if you have multiple projects in your workspace, uh, which you have frequently. Um, there's one thing that we still need to do manually here and that is to add the external loader. 
So we can right click this and go to debug as an STM32 application and it should start building a project again and then in a short while we should see the uh, debug configuration. Any minute now. Yes. So we have zero errors or zero warnings, but we need to go into the debugger tab here and then scroll all the way to the bottom and press the check mark for the external loader. Uh, we have to press scan here and it will populate all this, uh, the external loaders. So we have to find the right one. And for the uh, 746 disco board, it's this N25Q128A and then STM32F746G disco. And we can press apply and press OK. Now we can press, oh, actually it's deep debugs by itself. Waiting for debug connection, let's hit this button so you can see the screen. Uh, it should download everything. And now it's uh, hold it at the breakpoint. Uh, you can see here the code. Uh, we are break uh, just in the, in the start of main. Okay, so if I press resume, you can see that we get the same screen. So how do we know that this project is actually linked to the TouchGFX uh, designer project? Let's just uh, terminate this debugging session and let's go back to the TouchGFX designer. We can change something radically. We can uh, change the, oh, radically, wow. Um, let's just change the location of this button. And for this screen here, we will change the color of, of the background like, like this. We just press generate code. Uh, you can see generate code down in the left corner, generate code done. Go back here and press debug. So while we wait for the, the project to, to update here um, and upload, now we, we just have to the flash to write, verify, done. We are halted or braked inside the main. So now we can press resume. You can see the button placement has changed and also we have the new color of background. I know this is a very, very simple um, project or demonstration, but it shows that we have actually a link between the ST, uh, the, the Cube IDE project and the, the Touch GF, uh, GFX Designer project. So now you will be able to quickly develop your user interface in Touch GFX Designer and also do the hardware interfacing um, using the Cube IDE with uh, all the benefits that you have there. If you have your own custom board, I have made another video of how to configure uh, a custom setup uh, from the ground up using and generating uh, your own IOC file. But if you just want to get started and want to add some hardware interactions to, to your project, this is a really great way to get started. So uh, thank you TouchGFX guys for making this possible. It really gets easier every time uh, you make a new version. So um, so if you have questions, uh, either leave a comment or try to watch some of the other videos I made. Um, yeah, and thanks for watching.